it's Victoria from the Council on Aging and Social Service Departments. Today we are gathered here with Regina. She is the Executive Director of the Better Day Social Day Program for Adults in Marlboro, and she's going to tell us a lot about their program and what benefits they can offer our Berlin residents. Good morning, Regina. Good morning, Victoria, and good morning, oh. everybody who's listening. <laughs> How are you today? Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Good. Well, thank you so much for meeting with us. We're very excited to hear about a uh, better day and all that you guys offer. Wonderful. Thank you, Victoria, for giving me the opportunity to let people know that we are out there, that we might be an option for them and their family. And um, let me get started. I will share my screen and uh, try to give you a, a little insight in what we do and who we are. So let me introduce myself a little. My name is Regina Wolfritz, and I am the Executive Director at Better Day Adult Social Day Program. Um, I've also been a distant caregiver for my parents who live with the venture. And uh, I'll give you a little background. My background is actually in horticulture, and I've worked in child education for quite a few years as a program coordinator at an, a local farm um, before getting into elder care. I then at when, while I worked at the farm, I really discovered my love to work with families, and uh, but then decided to go into elder care. I received a master's degree in elder care management from LaSalle College, and I'm also a certified nurse assistant. Um, and um, I truly believe um, families in these days, they need all the support they can get, and they need a community that supports them, a village whether it's raising their children or whether it is uh, supporting the oldest members in the family to live their life at its fullest in the last chapter of their life. And so here we are and uh, let me invite you to uh, find out a little more about social day programs. There might be all different reasons why you are chiming in today, why you are looking this up. Um, you might be yourself. You might be living with mild cognitive impairment or dementia, or you might be a caregiver, or you might be like myself at very high risk of developing dementia and kind of looking into the future, what's out there, because I think we'll need to be very creative going forward. Um, and another, or you might be a friend. I, it's wonderful. At Better Day, I sometimes get calls from friends that just have a, a couple that they watch and that they feel like they might need some support. Or you might be just um, um, an older person that's isolated at home and is seeking to socialize. Um, so there are lots of reasons to look into a social day program. Um, as most of us want to stay in our community as long as possible, this is definitely one way to extend the time. Um, and lots of us find us, if we have a loved one who's just diagnosed with dementia, any sort of dementia, in the beginning, they are still um, in the early stages, you're still capable of doing quite a few things and you don't need to be in a memory care unit or in assisted living. So it is finding always the adequate level of care that you need at the different stage of dementia. One big reason uh, why social day programs come into place is self-care for the caregiver. Uh, I can't stress it enough that as a caregiver, the better you take care of yourself, the better a caregiver you will be and the longer you can be a caregiver. And last but not least, um, this uh, a day program can really increase the quality of life for everybody involved. And last but not least, there's always the cost factor. So if you're in the beginning stages of dementia, if you are quite independent, going to a day program is, um, is it comes at a much lower cost than having a private companion or going to an assisted living. So what does Better Day, our social day program has to offer? We offer engagement and socialization for people living with dementia, respite for the caregiver and resources. Just we are there to help you um, look into the future, how to plan your life. So the goal is to really provide the community, the community where you feel comfortable, where you meet people that are in a similar situation than yourself. So who are we? Uh, we are a social day program and some of you might um, remember pleasantries adult day services. 
which was founded in 2008 in Marlboro by Tammy Pozzarecki. So we continue her work. Um, in 2020, I took over as executive director and I turned um, the day program into a 501c3 nonprofit corporation. That means we have a board, we're governed by a board. And the beautiful thing is as a nonprofit, we can also tap into donations and, into, and can apply for grants. And this is also who we are. These are the faces that, um, that are come to, come to better day. Um, we are a wonderful group. Um, our age ranges are from 62 to 99. And uh, we are actually very balanced male, female, 50% male, 50% females. Um, and um, so we come together and we actually, you know, form friendships, um, give each other support. So it's, um, it's a wonderful way to be together and be comfortable. Our mission is very, very simple. Nothing high, far flung. It is to create a better day for people with dementia day by day. And it's really the very simplest task just to, this is how we start the day, just make it as good as possible. And uh, I always stress our the program is as much for the person living with dementia as for the person that is the family caregiver, because we provide respite, support, um, counseling. We, we offer family meetings where we really are in constant communication, where are we? How do we best meet the needs and how can we support each other? And again, what we provide for the caregiver is, is a community where they can be with their loved one um, and know that uh, they are understood. What is unique about us? So what is truly unique about our day program is that we are very small scale operation. Uh, we have a daily we call our participants guests. We have uh, between 12 and 14 guests every day. Um, and we are settled in a residential neighborhood in Marlboro, adjacent to the Fort Meadow Reserva Reservoir. Um, so that means when you drop off your loved one, it's, you're not going to a facility. It feels like you're going to a friend's house because it's, it's a regular house. We make it comfy, we make it cozy. And um, I do think our care team is very special and uh, the philosophy that stands behind us. And I will go into that a little later. So a day at better day, I will just uh, try to give you some images and an idea of what it's like to come to better day. What do we do? We share meals together, we engage, we socialize, we create independence for everybody who comes that they have choices, that they can I love best recently, we have played around with how we lay out the, the rooms, the outdoors. I, I love best when I can see that everybody finds their spot where they need to be right now, whether it is by yourself and, and just looking at a catalog, whether it's playing games or being part of a discussion group, whether it's being sitting outside in the sun on the porch to be independent. And, uh, and most importantly, is what we try with the environment, the way we design it is to allow everybody to be at ease, to be at ease, no fears, because that makes us be our best. Um, we are so small, so we are incredibly flexible, but we do have like a little outline for the month because we love to create themes. We, we have to plan field trips. So, and also for the families to see kind of what's the flow of the day. Nobody can hold us accountable because we might change anything on any given day, but this is kind of just to give you an idea. So um, we start with a healthy breakfast. Every morning we do exercise right after that, go kind of into daily chronicles or newspaper articles that start to strike our interest. And then the morning and the afternoon both get, uh, we try to put together um, an assortment of activities that mixes up physically and mentally challenging activities so that there's something for everybody. Everybody has different strengths, everybody has different uh, likes. Uh, so we mix it up between crossword puzzles and sports games, uh, between art and music and um, some guessing games. We just got into Wordle. Word games are big, but not everybody. So we try to really mix it up. We have a nice extended lunch and an afternoon tea and let the day usually uh, come to a nice calm ending. 
on the bottom, you see, um, you know, we have themes, we have outings, uh, we have a hairdresser that come to better days. So this is how we spend our day. Um, I give you some more impressions, time outside. Our outdoor space is incredibly important to us. We just, thanks to a Cummings Foundation grant, we just um, were able to fence in our whole property, um, which is, sounds, sounds silly, but no, this being fenced in actually gives us freedom because everybody can move around at their own pace, at their own leisure, where they want to be. We go for daily walks. We, we rest on the deck. We do gardening. We play games. We pull lots of activities outdoors. As in all good day programs, of course, music and craft is a crucial element because music touches everyone. It's, um, it's incredible. Uh, it was hard during COVID because we had to restrict all our visitors, but we were so happy last summer when we finally outdoors could invite musicians again. You are, we have a steel uh, drum player, uh, which was a lot of fun. And crafts, it's not for everybody, but we have a very active crafting group and we have staff that just goes all out and beyond in creating fun, fun crafts. Field trips, one of our favorites. Um, we do go out again. Uh, we are members of Tower Hill Botanic Garden and we rent a van and off we go. And it is something inspiring. It always is. Um, so that's part. Community connections. I think this is uh, what is so dear to us and what has suffered the most the last two years. Um, we love to be connected to the community. We have had wonderful high school students there on the right, that's Yasmin, and she made a Brazilian meal for us. So we have high school students come in. Uh, we are connected with a Girl Scout troop in Ashland. We've done uh, service projects with them together for the Humane Society. Um, and over the summer, we have um, young college students or high school students, this is here's Christopher, that come and help us with projects around the house and um, they are always such a wonderful addition. Our philosophy um, is probably what goes all through the days, everything we do shall be therapeutic. I actually pulled off our website for the music therapy and art therapy. I'm like, no, everything is therapy, whether we assist in the bathroom or whether we share a meal. At Better Day, we don't serve a meal, we actually share a meal. And so this goes, this is through the whole day, whether we tie somebody's shoes or it's, it's all done, it should all be healing. And here's our team finally. We are a small team of six. And I start on the left very briefly, uh, goes by seniority. The left is Lisa Gardner. And Lisa has been with Better Day and before that pleasantries for over 10 years. She also facilitates the daybreak program at the Hudson Senior Center. Um, so she knows the program in and out. In the middle, that's myself. And then there's Lynn Marie Lange, who comes with many decades of experience actually at New Horizons. Uh, she's a bundle of energy and uh, guides us through the day. Then top, uh, bottom right, that's Catherine Wright. Um, she is our designated cook and, uh, and she's an interior designer. So she keeps the house just warm and lovely and uh, keeps us all fed. I always say she feeds our soul and body. Then in the middle on the bottom, that's Nancy, Nancy Johnson, who came very recently to us. She is our program director. And uh, Nancy brings lots of experience. She last worked at Heritage at Framingham and she's wonderful, a wonderful rock solid <laughs> person who guides us through the day. And last but not least, uh, Eric Kessler joined us beginning of this year. And Eric brings decades of experience in social work. Uh, he was on the executive team at, um, at, um, in, at New Horizons at the memory care unit at half, half, oh my goodness, I can't think of the name. <laughs> so anyways, this is our team and uh, it's wonderful to have and we are very flexible and I'm fortunate to work with such a, such a great team. We are all very multifunctional, I have to say, everybody pretty much does everything. Um, services we provide. Uh, so we are a social program, we are open Monday through Friday and we have two options. Guests can come to us for an eight hour day from 8.30 to 4.30. Uh, 
at $150 per day, or they come for a shortened day for six and a half hours per day from 10 to 4.30 p.m. at $135 per day. We provide breakfast, lunch, and afternoon snack, and we do strive to um, provide a brain and heart healthy diet. We accommodate lots of nutritional needs. Uh, we've accommodated vegans and diabetics, so it's always worth talking to us and we'll see what we can do. Um, we provide social, emotional, physical, and cognitive engagement. Um, so furthermore, we are social models, so we cannot uh, administer medication, but we can do medication reminders. That means if somebody does take medication, let's say at lunchtime, we can remind them to take it. We do light assist in the bathroom and we assist with ambulation. Uh, we do provide family support. I facilitate a monthly caregiver support group and family meetings. Uh, what we do not provide, it's always a big question, is transportation. So the family is re responsible for arranging transportation. However, I can, uh, I do have some connections and I can connect them with people that might, might be able to provide that service. So who is the ideal participant? It is somebody living with dementia or mild cognitive impairment and who's being cared for by a spouse or an adult child. Um, somebody who seeks to extend the time living within the family in the existing community. And I have to say our guests are in the big spectrum of dementia, they're fairly high functioning. Um, the person um, does not need medical care on a daily basis. And uh, it's especially good for people who thrive in small groups. So how does it work? I was, you know, how, how do I get connected? It's fairly straightforward with a social day program. Uh, you just call our number or you email me directly at regina at betterdayprogram.org. Uh, talk to me, we can schedule a tour. I offer tours after program hours on Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays at 5 p.m. And uh, if you then think like, this might, this might be a good fit, we will schedule a free trial day. That gives both sides, everybody involved, a good, uh, good insight to see whether we are a good fit for each other, whether we can support each other. And if we all agree and say like, yes, this, this would be perfect, um, then you can just um, fill out some forms and you can get enrolled upon availability. We do provide financial assistance to eligible um, uh, applicants. Um, it is, we got a grant from the Cummings Foundation, so we have some money and what we need in, in order for the application to get started is we base, base the eligibility on yearly income of the applicant or sudden hardship that get experienced. Um, as for documents, we ask for the most recent tax return uh, or and a, a letter of application or a letter describing the hardship if there was a sudden change in the living situation. Um, again, what do you do? You talk first to me, submit the required documents. We have a financial uh, assistance committee that makes the decision to accept or, uh, or not accept um, on those criteria. And it's pretty straightforward. And then you can get enrolled. Um, just to give a little more background, what inspires us, what gives, um, what makes us go every day is um, to provide a home for everybody that comes to us. And I think Maya Angelou describes it very well when she says, the ache for home lives in all of us, the safe place where we can go as we are. And um, that is one that guides us to be this home place where we meet everybody where they are at the moment. And the bottom quote, that guides me as an executive director is by Nelson Mandela, may your choices reflect your hopes and not your fears. So that guides me through the day. And uh, with that, I say thank you very much. Uh, thanks for listening and please reach out to us. You can find more information at our website, betterdayprogram.org or simply give me a call or send an email. And I'd love to hear from you. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you, Regina. Wow, that is a lot of really cool information about Better Day and what you guys are able to do with everybody. Sounds wonderful, honestly. It is, it is a lot of fun. And um, yes, we all love to come to work and uh, it's very special being, being with all those families.
If people were to sign up for Better Day Services, is there a um, minimum number of days that they would need to sign up? Or is it something like as simple as like, it could be once a week or it could be a couple of days every other week? Is there, I'm just curious if there's a minimum. There is a minimum. Yes, we ask, we ask for two days. We ask okay. for two days. And that is really for everybody to, for the participant to get easier into the group and to, to develop a rhythm. It makes it easier for us to get to know the person and work with the person and for the person also to feel more comfortable. Okay. Do you guys, uh, I saw the financial aid assistance. Do you guys take any uh, health insurances as payment or is this strictly private pay? It's, I forgot to mention it. So social day programs, it's strictly private pay and okay. long-term care insurances. They cover us. We have quite a few guests that we're fortunate enough to have a long-term care insurance and they do um, they do reimburse. But the okay. medical insurance, unfortunately, no. Okay, all right. But it sounds like though, even if somebody is questioning whether or not they could afford the services or something like that, it sounds like it's still worth at least giving you a call and seeing, you know, cause you never know, like you were saying with the committee, like it sounds like things could be potentially negotiated. Yes, I always reach out. I it's no matter what the concern is, whether it's financial or whether you're not sure would the person fit in or not, is it, it's a different di diagnosis. So always reach out. This is, okay. yes. Um, how have you guys fared with COVID? We have fared really well with COVID. We are very fortunate and very, very grateful. We did close down in March of 2020, like everybody else was forced to force down. We did reopen end of June as we were I think we were the first day program to reopen. And part of it, the reason why we could reopen is because we are so small and uh, we are very flexible. So we completely revamped the program, turned it into a half day program so that we could accommodate everybody. And at the same time, create very small groups, pods. So we had a morning pod, an afternoon pod that never overlapped, the staff never overlapped. Uh, we installed very early on a, um, yeah, air exchange system in the house so that we have constant air exchange. Uh, we pulled the program completely outdoors. And I, the first three months, I think we were 90% outdoors to be wow. safe. And uh, so this is how we went through one and a half years until, until January, we did not have a single case of COVID. And only with Omicron, we got the very first two cases. And uh, we are very happy because both of them were very mild infections and they're back in the program. We did provide booster clinic in the fall at Better Day. So um, we've been very strict also. It is a requirement, by the way, I forgot to say it. it's a requirement to be vaccinated to come to Better Day. So um, I think between all those measures and our families just really taking good care of each other, we've stayed very healthy. So, so it's, it's wow. Wonderful. Yeah, very Congratulations. Good. That's that's quite a feat. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Well, um, I can't think of any other questions offhand. Is there anything else that you'd like to mention about Better Day and something else that you would want our residents to know? Um, I would just say reach out. If you have a loved one that lives with dementia, reach out because there is a community to support you. You cannot do it by yourself. It's just, it's just, maybe you can, but it is so much better to do it within the group. And so we are here, um, reach out, and uh, there's a lot of life to be lived. And we have actually, it's, there can be a lot of fun to be had. Yeah, absolutely. I just thought of a question, actually. So I yes. take that back. Um, <laughs> you had mentioned that your normal age range is between 62 and 99. If, say, for example, somebody were younger and diagnosed with a cognitive impairment, would they still then be eligible? Absolutely. Yes. And it's, as always, it's like, definitely, they should come by. And the, the biggest piece is, do they feel comfortable? But if they feel comfortable, yes, there is no, there is actually no limit. So always check it out. It looks like, an, it, honestly, like you said, it, it looks just like, you know, like you're going to like your friend's house for the day. It's like, yep, okay, I'll see you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. And everybody I'm, calls it something different. Some call it their social club. Some call it their um, senior house. So it's, yes, you can name it, but it's literally a place 
to come together, spend the day and make the best of it. Sounds good. I mean, I would love some afternoon tea and a huge lunch. So there you go. <laughs> yes, no, we love visitors. I know COVID is a little restricting, but once everything opens up, really opens up again, we do love visitors. So Victoria, please come by. We'll give you, we'll give you a heads up <laughs> when the time comes. Absolutely. I would love to stop by. But Regina, I thank you so, so much for your time. And everybody watching, I hope that this gives you an option, you know, for you and your loved ones. If you are somebody who's looking for some caregiving services or even yourself, if you just need some socialization, please give Regina a call. I mean, it's local, it's Marlboro, it's not far. And, you know, as she says, it's, you know, potentially two days a week minimally, but there's no cap. So maybe worth your time. Thank you, Victoria. Thank Thanks you, Regina. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you soon.